Okay, here we go with the nearness of you. Let's see how this one comes out. the nearness of you so uh, this is kind of in the um, the same thing if you look at my other videos of mood indigo I'm playing an open E and I'm playing this beautiful ballad uh, I'm gonna go over the chords right now and these chords are all gone over in most of the other videos in different uh, keys probably but so I'm gonna move pretty quick here you know hoping that if you you know you can catch on so basically you know it's kind of a jazzy standard a really nice tune and it's just something different you can do, um, you know, when you're playing your gig. So, and, or at home, if you're just musing yourself, like I am right now. Um, okay, so we have, um, it's not the pale moon, E, that excites me. E7, A, thrill, A minor, or delight me, oh no. That's uh, G sharp, chromatically down to F sharp. It's just a nearness at B7. Nearness of you. Now, once again, these, like if you look at Albatross or Sleepwalk, you're going to see these chords. I'm going to do them real quick here. The A7 is like, I mean, E7 is E, but I'm just adding the, you know, the, on the third fret, the, on the B string, is E7. The A, of course, is open. A minor, I'm flatting this note the on the G string, fifth fret to the fourth fret, and I'm putting and I'm barring below and putting my finger on top. So here you go. Not the pale moon that excites me or thrill. A minor, you like me, E, oh no, chromatically down with the minor. That's the same as the A minor, but you're just moving it's just a nearness of you. So, and then the bridge goes, when you're in my arms, F sharp minor, B7, and I feel you so close, E open to me, A, while this C sharp, dream, F sharp minor, through B7, and then it's the same thing. Now this, this uh, C sharp, that's, I was going over on, I'm going over that on a lot of tunes, but I'm going to give it to you real quick now. So you want to get this, you want to, um, there it is. So we got the, I'm barring across here with, on the fourth fret all the way across. I'm playing the, G, the E string on the, on the high E open. I'm putting my third finger on the sixth fret and my first finger my second finger on the fifth fret of our C sharp. There you 
you go, C sharp. Just same as to be here. Okay. So, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to just try to pick it out a little bit for you and just show. Okay, so now I'm going open B. I'm open E, second fret, fourth fret. And then the fifth fret, four, three, uh, four two on the E string. That's back up to the fifth. Four, open. That's four, two, open. Fourth fret on the B string. Seventh fret on the B string. I'm sliding down from the fourth on the B to the open B. Uh, second on the B. It's the first time. The second time is and when we uh, the bridges. Fourth fret on the B uh, on the E. Open B three. That part is a. Uh, Fifth fret on the B. So ninth fret on the E. Seventh fret. Now to explain that part, you're my wild, this wild, that's A. Wild, this dream, C sharp, come true, F sharp minor, B. It's a third, the C sharp is a third of the A. And the B there on this on the uh, that's the seventh of the of the C sharp. And then then we're going up four, two. That's all on the uh, on the E string and then B. Okay, so when we're going out <clears throat> the very end of it, uh, we're gonna go. Uh, you're playing that last verse. Da 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 da. A, da, A minor, da, 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 that goes to C sharp, da, 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 F sharp, B, da, 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 now it's a little quicker than the other lessons, but this is assuming if you're going to play this song, you've already going through these okay so I'm just gonna do it a little bit more for you now I'm gonna kinda of half play it and half sing it to explain you how it goes okay it's not the pale moon that excite me or thrill a or delight me e oh no slide down F sharp minor it's just B7 nearness of you that's F sharp, uh, G sharp a minor, G sharp diminished, which is that, and F sharp minor, B7. Okay, that's the verse. And the second time it goes, it's just the nearness of you. Now we're into the bridge. When you're in my arms, F sharp, B, and I feel you so close, E, 7, me. You're my wild, A, C sharp, dream come true. Sharp minor B. I need no soft lights to enchant me. A fuel, A minor, only grant me the right to hold you ever so tight. C sharp, and to feel in the night. F sharp, the nearness of you. fancy ending with the E major 7th which is in Albatross I'll show you the E major 7th real quick open E open B open E then you got your your first finger on the third fret of the of the uh, G string and then your second finger is covering the fourth fret of the B and the 
E string. One other magic chord here is I'm also playing a B augmented sometimes, leading into a verse. That is kind of interesting. I'm playing the open A string, and then I'm putting, see how that would be? That would be like this. So remember, there it is. That's kind of cool. It's like you're making a D chord here with these, you know, normal tuning. So it's a... Uh, it's like it's like the E, but you just lift up your, you just instead of covering two strings on 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 the um, on the fourth fret, you just cover one. You put your make a bar here across the 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 th uh, third fret, and you just and you uh, on the third fret, and that's on the G to B and the E string, and you take your first finger and you put it on the fourth fret of the B string. So open B. So that's like, here's a B7, but it's like the O Darling chord. So that would come in, you know, oh my, it's just a nearness of you. It's kind of a cool thing. Other things too, when I'm playing the melody, I like to go, instead of... can double stop that and that's all up here on the on the uh, here I'm playing a fifth fret on the on the 12th fret uh, fifth fret on the uh, fifth fret on the a string on the 12th fret ah, fifth string 12th fret on on the a a string uh, fourth fourth string 12th fret Double stop that. That's just double stopping the E chord. Then you're on the 10th fret, you double fret. So it's like. Bop, 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 bop. You get the idea. And there's all these things you can hunt and peck around uh, that I do on it. Anyway, I know this is kind of quick and it's a little different, less than I normally do, but. I guess it's more for like someone who's uh, done some of the other lessons, and uh, there are a couple of clinkers in it, but uh, that's to be expected. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, if you have any questions, you you know you can uh, you can uh, respond or feedback or let me know whether you think that this I'm going too fast or this is too weird or something. Anyway, it's a cool arrangement. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, signing off here, Vic Shepard.